Yo, what up YouTube? What up? What up? What up? <laughs> well, I'm I'm uh I'm still kicking, man. Like I uh I fucking I think my last okay one of my last entries was no fat. Okay, if I, you know it was, it was entitled no fat. That is, if anybody cares about any of my faculations <laughs> and, I, and I was quite sad to see like you know sad face it, it, it wasn't too many it wasn't too many views nobody cared about my faculations so if nobody cared about my faculations then why would anybody care if you're doing no fap <laughs> like <laughs> too fap too fap or not too fap Right? That is that is the question. Uh, sometimes you feel like a nut, but sometimes you don't. All men joys got nuts. Mouths don't. <laughs> I got I gotta say like uh, at the gym, right? At the gym, man, I've been seeing a, I've been seeing a lot of fucking, I've been seeing a lot of fucking haircuts, man. There's this tall girl at the gym, man. That's fucking bananas. I can't. I've, I'll tell you what, man. I need those things that horses have, like when you know, the, like those little fucking black squares that go like next to your eyes. This. This lady, man, let me tell you something. I don't know what the fuck she's doing in Missouri. Now, that is a curious case. Now, <clears throat> when I look at this chick's shoulders, okay, she's very, she's very toned. You know what I'm saying? She could throw a good roundhouse kick to the ribs. You know what I'm saying? She has that, she has that look. She has, she has a baby face. And she looks like she's in her 20s. She hangs out with this military dude. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, hmm. And I, I look at what type of clothes she wears. And she wears those leggings. Okay. She wears these leggings and, and it's black. And she wears like a sleeveless shirt and it's black. And I'm just kind of like, man. What is this specimen doing hanging out with this military dude? Then I thought about that movie with Colin Farrell. And I told the Lord, I said, dude. Just let me bite that one more time. <gasps> let me bite that before she investigates. Because I know she's got to be one of those. Because the FBI, they like to hire these chicks. Not these chicks, these young men as well. But they hire people like in their, you know, their 20s range. You know what I'm saying? This goes twofold. I'm kind of helping the FBI, I guess, too. Kind of. Right? But I'm not. I'm one of you niggas. Those cute girls are in the fucking FBI. All right? She's young. She got all her shit together. And mainly, in glimpses, I catch her. I catch in my peripherals her eyes. Now, there's this, this book... You know, by Musashi. Musashi was a samurai back in the day, and he just, you know, he 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 wielded two long swords. You know what I'm saying? He had a long sword in each hand, and he would just terrorize motherfuckers, dude. He, but he had like a code, you know, that he followed. And one of the things early on in the book is called the Book of Five Rings, and is uh, you know, it's about sword, uh, sword fighting and strategy, okay? But just before you get into the second chapter, which is like the water, the water technique, it talks about the gaze, and the gaze that a samurai uses is the fact that they <clears throat> it's kind of like where you focus that your consciousness, right? And you kind of look out. Right, 
but you want to catch all the view within your peripheral vision all right to your left and to your right and you also want to be looking you want to have a relaxed kind of a relaxed look but you want to be focused straight ahead relaxed but with intention right and you want to start to train your eye okay to be still but to see all that's within your peripheral view okay around you okay that way you don't have to move your eyes so much because otherwise you'll start looking crazy all right but anyways like this chick's this chick's eyes okay huh my let me tell you something man let me tell you something if i wasn't caged up so much oh my gosh all i need is a spoon she looks like a fucking hogging dog right <laughs> she's fucking she's gotta be fbi she's gotta be fbi and it's funny she she her intention her posture and how she carries herself is so fucking well right when she when she's walk and this guy i guess he's like posing as her personal trainer right um she is poised in a manner and her posture that she damn near has like a posture like an equestrian right she's regal she <laughs> let me tell you she 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 come from some type of financial backing that's for damn sure right she that posture like that now i don't really see her doing ballet she doesn't she doesn't really strike me as a ballet dancer but she does she does strike me as somebody you know what i'm saying like that shops at whole foods or something like this chick you know what i'm saying she got nice skin you know she probably you know she probably uses you know some type of shit she doesn't go overboard like other women but like she just like i don't know how to explain it to you it's that chick that takes really good care of her skin that you see in like those movies like quantico you know that lady in quantico like it's like you are not sneaking into anywhere everybody's gonna know who you are right because she's you know she's an attractive lady but she takes care of her skin but for the part in the role you know she has like a basic skin routine that's like this chick she you know she just got like you know good skin and shit and i'm looking and i'm thinking you're young and that posture and her eyes her eyes you know looking in there <clears throat> her eyes she's such a good girl she's such a good girl what do i mean by that she's a good girl in terms of like uh she wants to really do whatever she's doing with intention and do she wants to do it right right i'm not really saying so much like like i'm sure she stands up stands up for herself it's not like it's nothing like that it's like when you have that really good student that sits in the front of the class you know those kids we sat in the back she was like that girl that sat in the front of the class that like wear the ponytail and like leans forward she wants to hear what the teacher has to say right it's that posture and i and listen i'm not making any references or anything fucking crazy but you know how it is like you say you got that dog and then you put like a fucking biscuit on its nose and you tell it to like like it's just still it can't eat the treat yet right and that dog is just looking at you with dead on intention like i could fucking wait i could fucking wait i really want to fuck this shit up but i can wait right and then you finally snap your fingers they fucking destroy that shit right that's her that's her now generally that much tenacity for a girl her age especially in missouri she would not be in missouri just let me tell you something that is a bowl of ice cream right she she stands out she she looks you know and generally women like this <laughs> there's a there's a woman i call key fob i won't say her real name but <clears throat> generally women like this they train they train in like 50 different things right they train in like 50 different things so guys before you get that twinkle in your eye and you see like the girl of your dreams 
check your surroundings. Use that gaze that I was talking about in Musashi's book. The book is called The Book of Five Rings. And it's about sword fighting and strategy. Okay? And I'm telling you, this gaze has saved my life on many occasions. Alright? You, you would not understand what this woman, this woman is, she's a fucking knockout. Here's the funny, let me tell you something about this day and age. In this day and age and time, a, a, a woman who looks like this, she walks in the room, uh, half the motherfuckers are gonna be tripping over themselves, right? This is what's so crazy. I gotta stop my reflexes. My reflexes, especially when I got a lot of energy, is to jump right over there. Before you, I even know what I'm saying, like half the sentence out. Hey! You know what I'm saying? Gotta stop my reflexes because nowadays, guess what? That doesn't happen. That's what, when I worked at Walmart, there was a bunch of cute girls working there. None of the dudes, like they didn't even look at them. I'm like, fuck, dude. Do, do you not see that shit? Am I fucking tripping? <laughs> it's the same thing at the gyms now. I, I don't know if these people are automatons or what. Now, I already know she's already late because I know she's a dragon. Because generally when I look, when I look, it tends to be fucking dragons, dude. I'm telling you, man, every time, every time we are next snap over, these guys talking about, oh, it, you know, it's a Draco and shit like that. Yeah, man, those fucking reptilians, let me tell you something, man, that they be having that shit going on. She looks nice, man. She looks nice. But, you know, I, res- I, I got a lot of respect. You know what I'm saying? But... <clears throat> Also, if people don't pay attention to you, it takes a lot of energy not to pay attention to you. Also, check where they look at out of your peripheral vision because where they look at and what they focus on is important. Not what they're looking at when they're focused on something, but when they're in kind of a stasis state, going to and fro places. It'll give you a lot of information. Yes, indeed. Because at first, because I, I was like, well, wait a minute. This dude has got to be fucking dating this lady. See, now, I totally wasn't paying attention to, like, the whole Quantico side of the game. I wasn't. I was just like, Jiminy Christmas, where the fuck that shit come from? And I usually lock out when I get into the gym. Like, I get to, I get focused. But the thing is, it's like, I did. I kind of, I was like that kid that would, like, kind of be like peeking up his nose pointed up and, and looking around you know what I'm saying hey is that where's that tall girl at? you know it's like a breath of fresh air <laughs> rest of my life sucks right now so honestly these are great things and when you see these great things and the thing this is what I'm telling you guys ultimately the FBI the thing is <clears throat> those Draco a lot of times those those Draco chicks, those <clears throat> those chicks are attractive. They go, they kind of they kind of stand out. But what they do is they uh, they're not really with the times in terms of like the hypeness, the hypeness with uh, you know all the all the flair that comes with 2023. You know all the style and shit that these kids have. They're very plain. They're very you know what I'm saying like old school. Like Key Fob, she wears fucking like responsible clothes. This girl looks like she would be on like a, like some type of Instagram model, but she wears she wears responsible clothes. This tall this this tall woman, she, and see, I don't even feel like calling her a woman because she she seems more like a lady. They're more in the lady range. They're young, right? Now, <clears throat> when you see this thing, right, make sure you get your katana ready because that one. That one is going to hem you up in some type of way. They're connected to an entire net, an entire web, an uh, entire net. You know what I'm saying? Like when you throw a net over the side of the boat and you go fishing, they're going to fuck it. They're going to get you fucking hemmed up. You got to keep your answers smart. It's the Mr. and Mrs. Smith side of the game, right? Go in, get a couple jabs. Get, you know what I'm saying? Spoon a little bit and get the fuck out of there. Me loves you. I'm telling you guys because I love you, man. If you have questions, just ask.
<laughs> there's there okay so yeah man like <clears throat> it's fucked up man because I'm walking out here I don't have like ultimatums and shit like that but I'm telling you man a lot of people do it's a fucking it's a very scary and hairy world out there right now like a lot of people are hemmed up in like you know kind of like bad deals and got kind of bad things going on and <clears throat> There's a lot of agreements and secrets and then the world like darknet is on the rise. So like the deep web, like the whole Tor browser and that whole shit, that shit is rising up, right? It's rising up to the surface. It's bubbling on the surface. You know what I'm saying? You got to be nurse to, nice to them fucking nerdy kids. They'll hack your computer. They'll hit you up. Be, be extra nice to them, right? Share half your cheese motherfucking sandwich with them. It's tactical. Charity. It's in the Bible. All right? If you don't have charity, you don't have anything. So, you don't know who you're talking to. But even if you don't talk to them, you don't know who you're not talking to. And people are so sensitive these days that at least give people a nod. Now, me, it's too late. I, I fucking... I don't like not... That's why I don't like to walk. When I don't like to walk around the neighborhood... Until it's dark outside And I know everybody's inside Because quite frankly Though I love my neighbors The Bible tells me to love my neighbors Things like that I don't want to see your face I really don't It's a, a, For some reason Of all the energy I have When I'm walking And my arms are swinging It is so difficult for me to raise my hand It's so awkward for me to raise my hand And just Hi I can't really do that I'll give you like a little nod There you go And I keep it moving <laughs> You know what I'm saying? The undercover brother, like, the, the undercover, there you are. And then I just keep it moving. You know what I'm saying? Like, and a lot of the time people miss that. And that makes it, like, super awkward. So if somebody takes the time to wait to you, and you give them a head nod, and they don't see it, you know what I'm saying? Then they freaking, you know what I'm saying? They feel a certain type of way. People are moody, man. They're so petty. Part of it, I think, is these TV shows, right? The TV shows that are on today, and... The messiness of YouTube and social media sites and channels and things like that have made people like super sensitive, right? Super sensitive all the time. You know what I'm saying? Fuck. And everybody talking about catching fades right now and shit. Everybody, you know what I'm saying? I can't catch a fade to save my life. I gotta cut my own hair. You know what I'm saying? I I got the different clipper settings, but listen. I ain't a fucking chemist. I just put that shit on the first setting and I cut my whole head like that. And I keep it moving. Beggars can't be chosen. That's right. I'm like half a barber. You know what I'm saying? I'll get the other half when I can. But going around your ear and getting around the back of the head and shit like that, I can't really do the blending and all that other shit. That's about as close as a fade you need to be worried about nowadays. Because let me tell you something. Don't get the cops involved in that shit right now. Because it is such a mess right now. I'm sure the cops is just kind of like, they're looking at their paperwork right now. Just like, oh man, fuck. I'm serious. Like everybody's going crazy, dude. <clears throat> everybody's really going crazy. My, now my city has, it has kind of died back down a bit. I guess it comes in waves. We rolling like we on a fucking, like we on a fucking molly out here. You know, the targeting, the gang stalking, it be popping and shit. It be popping, it be getting loud. Everything be bubbling for a second. You be tell, you be thinking, you be cursing in your brain. You know what I'm saying? Get the fuck out of my head. Because in my area, in this part of Missouri, you know what I'm saying? It should not be feeling like New York, but sometimes it do. Right? It's not even that many businesses this in, in, in this part of town. You know what I'm saying? For it to be all these niggas, you know what I'm saying? Fucking walking up and down all around the fucking way. Right? But then, now it's in a lull. We're lulling back down. And I got to tell you, a lot of people moved out of my neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if I farted or what. You know, we used to have hella cars on the block. You know what I'm saying? And now, there's barely anybody here. You know what I'm saying? There's barely anyone here. My neighbor, she's reacting different. When I leave the house, she left the house today. She doesn't do that. 
Something happened to her. It might be a different spirit in there. She don't like to be out when I'm out. And I don't like to be out when you're out. Because we're the same. We don't we don't want to see each other's face. Everybody act like I'm an asshole. And nobody want to be honest and just say it. But when you go for a walk outside of your house, you, for some reason, I don't know what it is. And it's not that I don't want to talk to you, but it's like, I don't know what the fuck. I don't know why. I just don't want to. I don't know why I'm like that. I don't. But I think, I do believe, since I'm baseline, most people are like that. You know what I'm saying? Um, <clears throat> saying hello is awkward nowadays, man. It is not like the, in the 90s. You say hello to everyone. It'd be 50, 50 niggas in the hallway. Hey, what's up, dog? What's up? Hey, how you doing? You know what I'm saying? Holding it down 1,000%. Now we don't do that. We don't do that anymore. We don't want to, you know what I'm saying? We just kind of keep our head down. Yeah, yeah, what's up, dog? What's up, boss? We keep it moving. We don't want to talk about it. Something's going wrong. Something, you know what I'm saying? Something crazy. We don't know who is who, huh? When does the conversation come about? Huh? Homeboy, uh, what? John Birdthaw, he got his podcast called Real Ones. Why? Why? Why the fuck? And that's a real shit. That's a real podcast. But I'm saying like this. Why is it that bad that we gotta find real ones? Something is wrong, man. Something something has gone terribly wrong since the fucking 90s. Like, you should, that should, you know what I'm saying? Like, gosh, damn, how far are we gonna fall down, you guys? I'm embarrassed. I'm fucking embarrassed. I really am, man. And, uh, uh, here's the thing, man. Hold on, let me, I got my hoodie on here. Hey guys, this is the most short time I'm back. Uh, it's a lot of fucking federalities. <laughs> it's a motherfucking, it's a motherfucking federali souffle. So I'm telling you, a lot of these feds, they... <clears throat> A lot of these, a lot of these, a lot of these Fed types, man. A lot of these FBI types, man. Like I said, that girl, that girl at the gym, she is young, man. She looked like a little model or something. She probably, you know what I'm saying, like, I don't know, in her twenties. She, you know what I'm saying. She got a, she got a baby face. You know what her face looked like? Her face looked like if any of you niggas from back in the day seen that movie called My Girl with, I think it had Macaulay Culkin in it. His girlfriend, you know the girl, she got a cute little face. She got a face like that. You know what I'm saying? She got a little baby face on her. You know, that's what them feds look like. Them young and then young and then young young dudes too. Them young dudes. You know what I'm saying? They look they teen titan looking motherfuckers, right? They really are, man. They look like teen titans. One thousand percent. I'm not telling you this to to to, to, to I, I don't point anyone out. I'm just saying. Have some respect. Don't make them do their job. Fuck. Don't be hella obvious. You know what I'm saying? And what does that not being obvious look like? For a lot of you niggas, not being obvious does not mean looking sneaky. Don't fucking look sneaky. Be loud as fuck. I meant to do that. I meant to knock over that trash can. I mean, I, I know this is my homeboy. That's, I, that's who the fuck I was talking. It just came up in conversation. Be casual. You'll do better in court that way anyways. A lot of you niggas, when you doing shit, you go the extra route to make it look sneaky. Now, when you do all this extra prep work to make shit look sneaky, now you got problems. Now you got problems when you go in the courtroom because it's obvious you were being sneaky. But if you were loud, then that shit wasn't obvious. Look. It happened. The judge is going to be like, okay, it's straight, it straightforward. Now, I'm not telling you motherfuckers get busted. I'm saying beware of your surroundings. There is an eye everywhere. There's cameras everywhere. All seeing eye. You got fucking neighborhood watch. There UFOs and shit. Pay attention to the stars. Sometimes them motherfuckers be moving. Hypothetically. But, you know, shooting stars are a thing. I ain't going to go get too into it. Neighborhood watch. 1,000%. Sometime when you go out at night, it be these cars, they, I call it metronome driving. They drive an equidistant distance from one another. 
right? Exactly like a car and a half length. And they'll stay that way. Like it's some type of presidential motorcade all across the way. They shoelace in my neighborhood. So it's like one car will be coming one way, other car will be another way. And they'll intersect around where they think the individual is. And they'll do that at the same time. They drive like transformers. Now, if they don't think anyone is out there or if they think that you blend in or you're, uh, they're not suspicious of you, they drive, <clears throat> they drive kind of fast. It'll be around 45 miles per hour. Now, if you focus and start sensing with your spirit, you can detect who's there looking at you and who's there is not. But <clears throat> I think these cars are self-driving cars, to tell you the truth. And a lot of these cars are new cars. So I don't know if these motherfuckers are Transformers or if they fucking holograms that they beaming down here. But <clears throat> they do not like niggas out. If you get out, go for a walk after 9 p.m. If you go for a walk after 9 p.m., okay, then what you will notice is in your neighborhood, if you live in a quiet neighborhood, Motherfuckers are oddly will start coming out. Dude, sometimes even the fucking animals, it's the oddest shit ever. It's like, there always has to be an eye on you. It's a rule of the fishbowl. You live in a fish tank, right? Jesus said, I will make you fishers of men. Well, when you live, we had this room when I went to school and it was called a fish tank. And a fish tank or the fishbowl, you sit in this computer room and it had glass all around that entire room. A fishbowl, you can look in. You can see everything that's going on inside of that fishbowl. So, fishes of men, if you're inside of the fishbowl, right? The halo isn't really a halo. That circle is a UFO all the way up in the heavens. All right? You have been, that's never who watched. They watching your ass, man. That's what they call them. What Enoch called them watchers, right? And then <clears throat> those FBI chicks, that, that, so a lot of them are them Draco chicks. They, that's what they be, they be front of stars and shit, right? <clears throat> know what I'm saying? It is what it is. If you, gluck, you get lucky, you might be able to grab one, get a, have a little moon baby or something. <sighs> so, that's it. that's my advice to you. Be careful, cause that, that, that fucking, that pretty one that comes out of fucking nowhere, that's like, wait a minute, ask yourself this. This is the shit test question that you asked yourself. See, I went, to, I went to fucking high school in California. You know what I'm saying? Ask yourself this question when you see that cute girl. How the fuck did she survive high school? Somebody would have plugged her with a baby by now. You know what I'm saying? Around my world and my philosophy, there's a saying. P-W-D-R-F. Pregnant women don't run fast. They don't. High school, they said, you, you, hey man, you were getting slowed down. Somebody was coming to put a shotgun shell up in there, right? Nine months come around and it's like, bang, the baby comes out, right? They don't, they don't run so fast after that. That, it, that is the truth. I know that's some savage ass shit to say, but I'm just telling you guys the truth. It is the fucking truth. Be careful. Be careful. That's the one. Prince never lied to you. What do you say? Huh? The beautiful ones, they always break the picture. It's neighborhood watch. That's the neighborhood watch's daughter, man. Right? It's the neighborhood watch's daughter. All of them got tabs on you. What? Air? Aryan? Which? Aryan? Principality of the air? These niggas come down from the start, too. Some of these niggas descended from birds. They just sit in for burbs and they hang out in the burbs. It's it, it, these Aryan niggas, right? <clears throat> now, these motherfuckers be military. You can look at them. The military niggas can't escape the haircut. I don't know what it is. They gotta have the military haircut or everything just falls apart in their life. You know what I'm saying? How you attack these niggas is with the clippers. You know what I'm saying? One clip to the side of the head. Clip, fuck up that fucking clean neutralize you know what i'm saying you neutralize the haircut once you neutralize the haircut they go grab the head they go say oh no they go fall to the floor <laughs> they gotta have that box haircut like like that nigga like that nigga like that nigga in fucking stargate in the 90s that nigga in the 90s in, in that movie stargate hey man he the, like the general and shit like that <laughs> kirk, uh, kirk russell it was fucking kirk russell Dude, he had that box haircut. Them military niggas, they can't escape it. 
They can't get out of the box. They done mind control them niggas into a box haircut. Everything else we do in a box. You walk through a box, you walk through the rectangle doorway, you watch a rectangle TV, you sit at a box table, right? Get some chicken, you have a box of food, you put things in the refrigerator box, a microwave box. Niggas like the box. It's all kind of boxes. You get things delivered to your house in a box. And then, before you know it now, that box haircut. It's way, we way past the night. They still do it, don't they? They can't get, they can't escape. They can't escape the box. Now, I can't talk too much shit because I like boots. Right? Boots is another thing that you check. Right? <clears throat> These motherfuckers likes boots. Also, all right, they do. And that white guy that's friendly to you, you know what I'm saying? Oh, hey, how's it going there? You know what I'm saying? It's a nice day outside. Hey, how you how you doing? <laughs> they kind of have a laugh. <laughs> that laugh, that nigga is a fucking neighborhood watch. He 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 opened up a tab on your ass. These niggas got hackers and everything too. They want to know everything you doing online. All kind of shit. One thing you can't have is that shame shit. Don't worry about that. Jesus took care of all that other shit. Don't worry about it, man. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about what fucking porn you look at. Because the minute you worry, <gasps> the minute you worry about that shit, the morning, the minute you clinch up, now you got something abstracted from your baseline. Keep your fucking baseline, for heaven's sake. This is personal training for sociopaths, niggas. You gonna pass that polygraph no matter what. 1,000%. Do not switch up your baseline. Don't. How do you train that? You know, they got one yoga exercise where you tense all the muscles in your body till you can't tense them anymore. You know what I'm saying? You get real tensed up. Like that French nigga in that movie, Kiss of the Dragon, with fucking Jet Li put that needle in the back of his neck. He got all t- tense up all your muscles like that shit till you can't do it no more. And then fuck it, your body will give way and relax. Like a fucking tide in the ocean. The water going back into the ocean and it just kind of relax naturally. Make sure you stay at that baseline state. Then also understand how much caffeine you could drink. Start understanding how much caffeine you could consume at a time, how much your body can process. Sometimes your guts will go through some changes I don't advise you to drink as much as mine, but <clears throat> you want to kind of trigger your anxieties so that you can kind of, you can kind of hurt locker your anxiety emotions if you have any anxieties like that. You want to keep your fucking baseline no matter what, okay? Now, I ain't giving medical advice. This experiment is highly experimental. Some niggas be dying and shit. You know what I'm saying? I don't want niggas be drinking pre-workout going crazy. I don't want niggas, you know what I'm saying? Make sure you're able to control your fucking, you know what I'm saying, your baseline. Um, because when you get in for uh, questioning, there's a reason why they offer you a, a, a Pepsi and beef. They want your fucking, they want your fucking blood sugar to spike. And they want you, they want you off your fucking baseline. Because once you off your baseline, you have no set of norm. That machine could test all kind of shit then. You know, these niggas come from out of space sometimes. My bad. I don't want to give up too much information. But this is what happened when a nigga don't have a girlfriend. I got too many other things to focus on. Oh. Well, I probably need about two of them. I'm going to be honest. I'm kind of crazy. But I'm going to stay on topic. Um, check your base on. Caffeine, a little bit at a time little bit okay just a little bit let's say you have a cup of coffee just a little bit i'm not even talking about like a quarter of a cup like a little bit right Are you, and this gets into meditation this opens your mind this is the other second part you need to open your mind and you need to feel and experience what it feels like just to have a little bit more than what you typically had but um yeah that i, I will say i will say start there uh, you you kind of you kind of you kind of work your way into it. Other people, there's other tests that people do, and it don't have to be caffeine. It could be fucking something. I you know it could be that hot sauce. But me, I can't fuck with hot shit. You know what I'm saying? That's a whole different conversation. I can't do it. I knew a nigga back in the day, and this dude 
he would split a fucking pepper and put tobacco in it and he would fucking he would eat that shit dude if i ate that shit i would fucking piss shit on myself and i would fucking die but sometimes you gotta fucking get outside of your fucking comfort zone you know what i'm saying you if you're not doing that when it comes down to questioning and shit like that you not gonna do too well and it's really not about you cheating a polygraph or the questions but some niggas is not as good a test that's just that's just all it boils down to and you want to be at your best when you take a test or when somebody asks you a fucking question that you have all your mental capacities working power is a great thing but power for us unless you are god and you just have an unsurmountable amount of power power is nothing about wisdom Knowing how to utilize that power tactically and strategically is what makes that power the best. And you are not a strategist until you are able to accomplish your goals with using the least amount of fucking power possible. That improves efficiency. Okay? These are things that you gotta you gotta like meditate and think about before you got to practice this shit before you get in the hot seat or under a noose all right because <clears throat> like i said the dating game is become mr and mrs smith right you know what i'm saying and i'm telling you niggas because i love you i love you i do <clears throat> some of you niggas i hate you but i love you too i do i still do the bible tells me to do it Cause I know one thing for sure that the Bible said There is only one thing you could do When it comes to a beautiful woman The Bible, that is the only sin the Bible said The Bible says run, run like fucking hell And I know my depraved ass is not gonna be able to do that So I have to push my boundaries Cause let me tell you something If that fucking bowl of ice cream said something to me Or if I accidentally got into a conversation with that at the gym I, I ain't gonna be able to say no. I'm gonna have to, I, I have to test my boundaries, have to be, you know what I'm saying, at that level. We might have to get into a melee, like Street Fighter. I might have to put Chun Lee down. <laughs> I might have to. I might take a few kicks to the ribs. I might have roll, I might get a sweep in. Neutralize the situation, have to run out the room, you know what I'm saying, jump from the second story window. Because, man, listen. It's a drought, man. It's a drought. I swear, I can go outside when it's raining and not a drop will touch my face. <laughs> I'm thirsty. I'm out of milk. You notice I'm a little bit more, I'm cranky when I don't have milk. I'm just not the same. I'm not, man. I probably need about six gallons of milk to get through two weeks. Six gallons of milk per pay period. I could, I might be able to make it if I ration. I fucking love milk, but it's a drought right now. I know when confronted with that situation, given spiritual warfare, since niggas want to think it's a joke, when it comes to the ladies, you're going to fucking lose, man. Just go ahead. Don't do that battle of the sex. Yeah, 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 yeah. You got that. You got that. I ain't going to try to convince myself that I'm fucking Captain America by no fat because I'm fucking lose. (laughs) I'm a fucking lose. And listen. You'll hear Captain America talking about no fucking no fat. Hey, man, he take out 30, 40 niggas. But let me tell you something. When he get home and that internet turn on at night, he like, wait a minute. <laughs> something else stirs me besides this fucking Marvel Matters tonight. <laughs> the Black Widow is busy right now. <laughs> it's the truth. You gonna lose. God know it. He know it. He know what the fuck he made. He know what the, he know what the fuck is down there. Hey man, that shit is fucking crazy. It is, man. It is. I think pussy got crack out done. Reagan fucked up. The pimps had it figured out. That shit is crazy. It's the truth. Now, remember what I told you. Meditate. Start testing yourself. Get out of your comfort zone. Little by little. There's still things I can't do that people fucking do. Like some niggas take cold showers. I can't fuck with that shit. I, that cold water, I am not taking no fucking cold shower for nobody. I can't do it. I can't even get in there. Don't even like to stick my feet 
on the shower floor if that shit is cold. I'm just, not, I'm not from that school. I can't really help. But it's, it's another thing that I gotta fucking, I gotta fucking test it by. Maybe I could just try a little bit. Not all the way, turn it all the way cold, but just, you know what I'm saying? Maybe like lukewarm. Maybe I'll do lukewarm and I'll try to shower that way. Then I'll get it, I'll just kind of inch it back until it's cold. You gotta shock your system. All right? You know? <clears throat> now, in terms of no fat, I don't know. For some people, that's their thing. I'm a, uh, listen, I do the best when I don't, when I just, when I'm just absent minded and I don't even fucking think about it. I've been doing pretty good. I don't, I, I don't really fucking, I don't really deal with it. But if I concentrate on, I'm not gonna look at fucking porn today. I'm gonna fucking lose. I'm gonna lose every time. I have to fucking just let it pass over and, and, and just fucking completely forget about it. The younger dudes, if they look like a fucking Teen Titans, look at the Teen Titans. Look at their anatomy. You know what I'm saying? How their legs is formed and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? They're kind of stocky upper body. Then they got the kind of the little leg. Them niggas work, they, they the FBI. You know, them little shiny eyed niggas uh, that look like they play baseball or some shit like that. They work for the FBI. The other niggas, they look like they, 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 you know what I'm saying? These niggas, I don't, I don't trust them motherfuckers that got. Now, some of these motherfuckers were, have mullet haircuts. And some of these people got certain mustaches. All right? You'll know what I'm talking about when you see it. It's so fucking obvious. You see it, it'll stand out. But for having those type of haircuts and mustaches, they're still a little bit too clean cut for me to believe that they're really from that lifestyle. So I'll be thinking that they agents. I'll be thinking that they teen tight niggas. I'll be thinking they from the FBI. I went to the gym a second time today. That young man, tall young man, thing like that. I'm like, <clears throat> you are FBI looking nigga. But I mean, I was doing my thing. I was focused on my shit. But yeah, I, I gotta, I gotta pay attention to see what niggas doing. A lot of niggas you could catch at the gym. Now let me tell you something. Them FBI niggas, they love to go to the gym. They do. FBI niggas and FBI niggas, they both go to the fucking gym, right? And they don't like to go at the station, right? That's where they go and they get their intel. These motherfuckers is on the inside crowd. We on the inside crowd. You like to be around fucking civilians, right? They go to the gym and they exercise. But listen, a lot of these motherfuckers live at that fucking gym, bro. I mean, quite literally, but I'm not talking about them niggas. I'm talking about... <clears throat> I'm talking about the fucking FBI niggas that be in the gym for like eight, nine hours, bro. Any time of the day you see them niggas there. Anytime you go, you change times going to the gym. They show up at the gym. They always there when you go to the gym. Pay attention to who the fuck is around you. Alright? And what they'll do is they'll do this. They'll fucking get around to where you're at. You're fucking working your ass off. You're busting your ass. You're working your ass off. And they'll fucking sit down on a weight bench. And then they'll just like piss off on their fucking cell phone for like a year. And you look at them like, you gonna fucking do a set? And then when they finally get up, they get up at exactly their timing is so fucked up. Their subconscious tells on them. They get up and they cross paths with you. The one time you're going to put up your fucking weight or whatever the fuck. The whole time they've been sitting down for like half an hour. You know what I'm saying? Playing Zelda on their cell phone. Really, they no telling what the fuck they doing. Looking up workouts. That means they at the gym working. They working a shift. They on the clock and shit. Right? Niggas that come into the gym, come into the gym because they fucking, they're busy. They're going to get in and they're going to get out. It's like a fucking Bushido Khan sidekick. Right? Straight to the fucking gut. You know what I'm saying? It goes straight out from the knee. Your knee, your knee, it comes, it comes up. And then your fucking, the edge of your foot, it juts out. Right? Then you bring it back in. You know what I'm saying? It's a strike. That's how you hit the gym because people got other shit to do. Right? They got other shit to do. They, they ain't got time to hang out at the gym all day. But some motherfuckers seem like they... There's some niggas that get on the tr treadmill forever. Some of the chicks get on the treadmill. They be running on the treadmill. They can read a book. Right? They can read a book and run on the treadmill and not lose a line. And I'm talking about when them fucking 
Daniel Steele fucking novels. You know the kind of one of them books that got many lines. Not one of them fucking picture books that we read. They fuck with them fucking novels and shit. You know what I'm saying? How the fuck does that work? You know what I'm saying? Huh? So many people is like, shit. Let me tell you something, man. Then you gotta look at them retirement niggas. A lot of them retirement niggas are connected to chapters and them chapters, all right? It's the good old boys on the block and they connected. They got generations upon generations of the forces and there's generations of forces connected to Star Wars forces and they in the neighborhood watch. They in UFOs, all right? They the Star Forces and shit like that. They, you know what I'm saying? They come out to the, they come out to the gym. They ain't got no business talking to you, but they gonna talk to you anyway. Some niggas know exactly what machine you're at, and then subconsciously they need to use whatever machine you're at, so you can never get through your workout. You'll start picking this up if you go to the gym regularly. You'll start picking out whoever it is. But those cute girls, hey man, they all notice until they fucking come off that notice automatically. You automatically put them on notice until they come to fuck off of notice, right? Find something you could trust where you could delegate your fucking money. All right. Some of you niggas need to get a girlfriend because you know what? And you need to get a girlfriend that you could trust because quite frankly, when shit gets tight and motherfuckers start crowding around you, they start fucking, you know what I'm saying? All them vultures start coming around you. You need to fucking slide that fucking birthday ticket into account that they can't necessarily investigate or fuck with. If they do, they can't really do nothing about it. Right? They can trace it. They can say where it come from. Then they come back to you and say where it come from. You can say it was a gift. They don't really have any means to investigate that any further because they'd be chasing their own fucking tail. They would have to be an idiot to fucking do it. So like I said, just in case, since I'm blacklisted because I think the feds is watching me, I can't get a fucking job. Not in my city. And if there is a job they want me to have, they'll close off all the jobs until that one job that says, you are fucking hired. Guess what? You're working with all feds, right? Everybody wants to masturbate your penis for you, right? You're trying to tell the guy in the bathroom, no, I can hold my own shit. I can aim myself. We would like to aim it for you. They come from the stars, be careful. You don't really know what they up to. They trying to figure out all types of information on you, nigga. They trying to get your image and everything like that. Some of you niggas think at the third grade level, still worried about who the fuck niggas is fucking and all kinds of other shit like that. Hey man, listen. Motherfuckers is trying to put you in a fucking cage, dog. That's what, that's what, that's what the fuck is going on. They trying to put you in a cage or they trying to fucking put you in the earth, right? So, <clears throat> That's what it is. Pay attention to your fucking surroundings. I mean, if you have troubles getting jobs like me with two college degrees and you can't get part-time work, then you know something is up. And let me tell you, it be so much fucking ice cream in this fucking city. Let me tell you, it was nothing like this before. It was not that many. No offense, man. I know a lot of niggas gonna be mad. It was not that many cute girls. All of a sudden, man, I don't know what the fuck is going on. This is the same thing that happened to Solomon in the Bible. They couldn't figure out Solomon. They couldn't break Solomon down. You know what they did? They sent women in. Get him. Right? The wisest man and the strongest man, Samson. That's the, that's the go-to tactic. They send the women. So listen. You can lose your head out here. But don't lose your head out here. If you understand what I'm saying. Don't bury your head in the sand. Don't ostracize your mind. The other head you can bury. Right? Ten hut, you can bury that motherfucker. But the other one, make sure you're always fucking thinking. That's all I'm saying. It's a game. It's a fucking game, right? It's a game. I wasn't invited to the fucking part. I wasn't. I wasn't. I know I, you know, I got the basic food groups. You know what I'm saying? My food pyramid. You know what I'm saying? It's a black and mild at the top, in the top pyramid. Then in the two subcategories, it's milk and juice and the other one. And then the other category down there below that, well, it's chicken. The kind that gets a college ed education. The sapient sexual that looks like Velma. The nerdy girl. She's fucking very dangerous. She's part of food groups. 
figure out what you're gonna do figure out what you like and once you figure out what you like pay attention pay attention because the minute I said the minute I mentioned that I like women with glasses they start jumping out of the woodwork with glasses I'm like ah and then my first question is that are those glasses real and it's like they already know they busted 90% of the time those fucking glasses aren't even real if they are real then they come from like the area brotherhood or they come from star watch all right neighborhood watch from the stars all right just food for thought all right and uh remember what i told you about the jobs when all the doors close on you right and then it's one door open just know that when you get that job you're under a fucking telescope you're under a fucking you're under a fucking magnifying glass and also, if you one of them niggas who snitch, if you a snitch, then guess what? All hell's gonna break loose, man. All hell's gonna break loose because not only who you snitched on, but the niggas that you snitched to, all them motherfuckers gonna stay around, is stay away from you and have and have tabs on you like the plague. And these motherfuckers like to step trap. I look out for everyone because the Bible said love your enemies, man. I ain't got no fucking friends anyway. Peace and blessings be with you all. I'm Saint No One, and I'm out. Oh. Let me cover some other things. Now, I don't know what's going on with my situation, but I just want to say this. If there's any investigation on on, on my family, all right, on, on on my brother in law side or any side like that, Hey man, listen. <clears throat> Beware, cause I, I got fucking. T- I'm, I'm telling you, I like Batman. I don't want to do it to you. I will fucking, dude. I will fuck. Uh, my testimony. I could break this country down into a fucking hand shovel hole in the earth with what the fuck you guys did to me. And I don't mind sounding crazy, cause everybody will know I'm telling the fucking truth. It just fucking. It just fucking sounds like that. Y'all stay the fuck out of my way when you see me i don't care if i'm doing something exceedingly illegal you turn the fuck around and you act like you never saw shit i'm just giving you fair warning get that rookie that's green behind the ears and get that nigga in check that beat up fucking silver car you do act like it does not exist it don't matter if it was god or the, it's just gonna be bad business god or the devil there might not be devil horns. That just might be Batman. I don't know what to tell you niggas. My mom, my sister, you know what I'm saying? I don't know what's going on, but they not acting normal. They not acting right. They not. And it feel like somebody trying to break my family down like a folding table because they want to start me in this house and my, and my family's acting weird and I'm outside of the secrets. I'm not a mason and shit like that. To get me to mention something, but listen, I just can't fucking do it. I'm fucking, I guess I'm just gonna fucking be fucked up in here. I can't do it because something is off. I don't reckon, I see people spiritually. I don't recognize my mom or my sister. I don't have to fucking dementia. We, we know exactly what the fuck I'm talking about. All right? I mean, they, they're, they're forcing me into like this fucking, I, I'm sorry, I don't mean to bust out and I don't hate on nobody, but just to fucking treetop that R. Kelly treatment. You know what I'm saying? I, I, you know what I'm saying? I'm in odd situations. I know a lot of niggas doing something strange for change right now. I ain't saying no names. I just can't. I can't. I bring myself to the line and I can't fucking do it. Right? Then they taunt you with the things that you want. Like me, I want weed because I literally can't sleep. They do time displacement. Time literally slows down at night, man. You know what I'm saying? Two hours feel like a six hour night to me. When I take a nap, it feel like I went to sleep for a fucking whole day, man. And it only be like one hour had passed. I'm like, fuck. I'll be working on that shit. It feel like I'm climbing a mountain. You know what I'm saying? Get the fuck off of my fucking family. I'll fucking tear you apart. If you a UFO, I'll figure out which UFO you're at. I'll fucking pull all the fourth, the fourth dimension on top of you. I will fucking find you. 
I got a special set of skills. I may not look like Liam Neeson, and that works perfectly because people underestimate me, and it's never worked out for them too well. So get off of my family. But for my family, if you talk to someone frequently, like every single fucking day, my, it's the devil you know. That's all I got to say. And if it's not them, then they're in a fucking arm bar and they're talking to you because the one that's controlling them is a coward. They call those assets. Peace and blessings be with you all. I'm out.